Hey guys, so today the video about the Zabbix integration with ITSM solutions and also any kind of uh, different, uh, let's say, media platforms, uh, the ones in which you might be communicating with your colleagues in work or from home, doesn't matter. I'm basically talking about um, Slack, Discord, uh, and, and, and some other solutions. Uh, in the topic of this video, you also saw that there will be a bonus and the bonus will be uh, previously uh, if you're reading descriptions of the video, you know that I do have a Patreon page where I do also, um, let's say, create and share some additional topics and knowledge about Azabix. And all the time, uh, not one of the benefits of the Patreon was also the access to the Discord servers. So starting from today, I will explain later in this video, uh, Discord access will be absolutely... Uh, free available for everyone so if you are interested then just uh, stay tuned stay till the end of the video and I will talk about it later so about the ITSM integration about the custom media types uh, we must talk a little bit about the background so we all know what Zabbix is we know that it is awesome monitoring solution we know how to configure host items triggers and whatsoever but you know that there is a uh, configuration actions so uh, basically, things that are happening when our conditions are met based on our triggers. So if trigger A fires, I want to send a notification to my, you know, let's say, database administrator. But uh, previously, out of the box, we were always limited uh, by just a couple media types, which is email and SMS mobile text message only if you have a GSM modem available on your system. If not, again, you had to create something different. But uh, we're, we're limited, but also we are not limited because Zabbix always provided, um, let's say, a platform where you can extend functionality of the Zabbix in any ways, not only in the media types, as alert scripts. But since this video about it, this is, then it was always possible to uh, just open your CLI and uh, write any kind of the alert script in any language that you prefer, maybe uh, Python or something else, or it might be just a simple bash one-liner that was passing the information, then what you had to do is uh, place that script in uh, alert script path, which is defined in the Zabbix server conf, uh, restart the Zabbix server, and then you were able to use uh, this here, uh, not the import, sorry, but create media type and specify this as a script and you could do that, right? But again, yes, we had a platform how to create it, but we had to know at least a little bit, um, let's say from the development perspective, how to write a script. So we had to know some kind of Python or whatever else. We had to understand API of uh, media to which we want to send information, but that's it, not anymore, it is not required anymore. So since already, uh, I think it was 4.4, yeah, 4 .4, uh, you see there is a new button, import. And actually right now the Zabbix is actively working on providing integrations out of the box. So there's still a platform for alert scripts, you can create anything custom you want, but there is also a simple import button. And if you install uh, Zabbix 5.0, as example, you will get all of the already available uh, media types made by Zabbix developers out of the box. So you don't need to know any development languages, you don't need to understand the API of your ITSM system or some uh, media communication platform. All you need to do is open uh, git of the Zabbix, which is git.zabbix.com. Uh, we can go just like here just from the beginning. So get Zabbix.com, then in the projects we need to choose Zabbix. And this is basically, um, if you have downloaded the sources, then you can see that it's basically the same as the sources that you can download from the SourceForge's example. Uh, and we are interested in the folder templates. 
Remember, like previously, the most common place where you could get the official templates of the Zabbix uh, for your Zabbix, let's say if you just upgraded your installation from 2. something to 4.0, you had to grab official templates and you had to do that from the Zabbix share. Now go to the getzabbix.com templates and you will find everything that Zabbix has at this moment right here. So if you want to monitor some databases, then there you go. Uh, monitor my SQL with an agent, with an ODBC, the Postgres, also the Redis cache, which you can monitor. Uh, let's go back to the templates. Just always remember to stay on a master, which basically is a trunk, so it is up to date. Uh, I think it's a nightly build, so uh, what developers are working on today will be available here tomorrow. And for this video, we are interested in the media folder so Zabbix templates media and this is what is available at this moment there will be more for sure but right now out of the box this is what you can get the discord Mattermost, Opsgenie, PagerDuty, Pushover and Slack so if you want to use all of these or one of these doesn't matter I will show you the uh, little example on a discord server because I have it right here so click on the discord and the great stuff that for each media, maybe the Discord or the Pager Duty, or maybe the uh, Obsgenie. You see, there is uh, a documentation of what you actually have to do to set it up and running on your system. So, again, no knowledge is required. Just go here, uh, download the XML file, and you're good to go. So just read the documentation, what you need to do. So uh, Discord webhook and uh, all of these media types are basically webhooks, right? And uh, so we see the media Discord XML and I will re uh, click on it. Then we need to click on raw file and we download that XML file just like we are used to uh, download the templates. Then you can go to do your Zabbix installation, configuration media types, click import button, choose the file from your downloads and media discord, double click and import. Import it successfully and that's basically all um, you need to do to have this uh, media type. So now we have also a discord here, which is webhook type. Uh, click on it and there's a lot of configuration, right? Uh, basically, each of these, so some kind of the parameters that we are passing to our webhook and you don't have to fill them manually. All you have to do is uh, probably just take a look what will be sent. So all of these on this side are internal macros of the Zabbix. So alert sent to will be taken from, um, from media of the user, alert message, subject, event name, event ID, severity, some tags if you have them on the problem that happened, all of that will be passed to your Discord uh, server. Then the script part, so this is the actual webhook, the actual magic which previously you had to write on your own, now Zabbix is providing all of this for free out of the box, um, so just again download, import and you're good to go. So that's it, just update and you have this media type for the Discord. Now we can check, um, let's go back. So what do we need to do? So go to your Discord server and uh, I do have it here for example, we'll talk about it later. Uh, so just click there on the settings. Uh, if you're using the Discord, I think you already know that I won't be go through this. So click here uh, on your this picture then on the settings then you can create a new uh, webhook uh, discord webhook url just have to copy this uh, set up your discord server press save copy setting up the zabbix webhook so before setting up a discord webhook you need to set up the global macro zabbix url url which must contain the url to the zabbix front end so what we need to do is administration general uh, regular expressions, nope, sorry, uh, macro, so add here, what do we have to add? We need to add a Zabbix URL, so this macro and a value, so basically it would be like this, right? Uh, URL to the Zabbix. 
which must contain the URL to this Abix frontend. The URL should be either an IP address, a fully qualified domain name, or a local host. Specifying a protocol is mandatory, so HTTPS or HTTP. In our case, it is HTTPS. Uh, good examples, so there you go, right? So in our case, this would be like this. Done. Uh, what else? Bad examples, so without HTTPS or uh, just Zab Zabbix, which is not a proper domain name. Uh, then, in the administration media type section, import the media Discord XML that we downloaded from same page. We already did that. If you want to change values to default parameters, open the newly added Discord media type. You can also choose between two notification modes by modifying use default message parameter values. False will mean that you will receive problem notifications with predefined set of fields, problem hostname, event severity, event type, and other stuff. True means that you will receive default message defined in the Zabbix action that triggered notifications. So defined here, configuration actions, uh, operations, so you will receive this. This one, right? Uh, what else? To receive notifications in Discord, you need to create a Zabbix user and add media with the Discord media type. The send to field must contain Discord webhook URL created before. Also, don't forget that in order to send notifications, this user must have access to hosts that generated such problems. So for your users, maybe a new user or some existing one, you need to add a new media and that has to be uh, type Discord that we just imported in our frontend. Send to will be the URL that we got uh, here. And uh, that's basically it, right? So just add uh, Discord URL, click save, then configuration actions uh, when you are sending operations. Um, is this an. Let's change this to triggers, uh, report problems. So when you are sending, send message to user group Zabbix administrators via all media, which means also the Discord media that we just configured. So you will receive a message in your Discord uh, server, in your Discord chat that will look like this, right? Perfect. So this was just an example and uh, you have the same stuff about Zabbix, um, where are the templates? Templates, uh, media folder, so you can set up the same for the Discord, for the Mattermost, OpsGenie, PagerDuty, Pushover, and a Slack. Of course, uh, later on there will be uh, additional integrations, so if uh, you need something which is not here, then just stay tuned and properly it will be added soon enough. Done. So that was it about uh, integration of the media and ITSM solutions. If that was all you're interested to, then you can just click um, stop and go doing something else. If you are interested about a bonus we talked in the in the beginning, then um, then just let's continue. So just like I told you, um, I am running a Patreon page for a while and we have a couple of articles here. Uh, I was not, I will not say that I was very active uh, recently by creating and posting some new stuff. So we have a welcome post, uh, my speech and a video of the speech in the Zabbix Summit 2019. Uh, my speech and also the presentations of my speech in the open source monitoring days about OBD2 monitoring, which is the monitoring of the shield interface. Uh, Monday Zabbix tip, which I try to post every Monday, like some uh, tips and also example with uh, LLD uh, shell script, LLD test templates, so how to create custom LLD rules, OBD2 monitoring lab setup with the emulator, so you can test it on your own, Zabbix agent 2 and some example uh, module, the Locky, so from the Grafana creating patched RPM, so when you need to um, apply some patches to the sources and then you still want to create RPMs instead of compiling. Another Monday tip, uh, LLDP, which is a custom thing not available out of the box. Um, the tip about the log monitoring, some queries for the reporting, and so on, so on, so on. So, um, I don't know where I can see, uh, I probably can't see all the levels from my page, but 
So there are three levels uh, in, in, in my Patreon and one of other uh, bonuses was the access to this. Access to Data Driven Nation Discord server and all of these are uh, my great supporters who actually subscribe to the Patreon page. So um supported me in 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 any man manner and you can see we're talking about different stuff here so yeah mostly about the zabex uh, people are asking questions i try to help them and um, around a week ago i already decided that i want to make this uh um, available for everyone yet all the people all the actual patreons uh, with any subscription there are three options one dollar five and ten for the vip uh, will have let's say additional benefits because i don't know how many of you will join this after this video but uh, the more people we will have here the more complicated it will be for me to help all of you so there will always be a priority for the actual patreons uh, if you are a patreon and if you need a help from me then uh, feel free to just uh, direct message me uh, here in the discord and probably a bit later i'll also create additional room for for all the patreons so not only the vip and uh, how can i invite you so probably here uh or no i actually don't know uh send a server invite copy so copied and uh, yeah, I'll just write it here. Discord GG6 capital M lowercase w G34. And I will also post this in the description of uh, this video. So go ahead, join the Discord server, ask your questions, post your uh, feedback, comments, whatever you can suggest, the topics of the new videos. So we can make some kind of collaborations and do many, many different stuff. Um, the only thing that I really don't like, uh, please don't join the Discord and immediately write like, hey, please send me a template to monitor uh, some kind of device or please send me a script to do this or that. We all are learning here. We're talking about a concept uh, based on some real life examples, but I won't be providing like Zabbix commercial services for free. I won't be creating the templates for you just because you asked. I can help you to solve some issues that you might be facing when doing that on your own but don't expect that I will do um, let's say your job uh, instead of you for free right that would be a little bit silly so all right guys that's it for today so just join uh, the discord server and we can talk later on about all the different things and once again thank you all for your support and uh yeah, if you, <laughs> I didn't mention like uh, about the Patreon, you can, um, you can see the URL of my Patreon also in the description of this video and also in the description of all of the rest of my videos. All right, so thank you guys once again for watching. Thank you for your time and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.